Okay, so for our vocabulary activity for today, for the story, this is not who we are. We are going to take the words that we have and dive a little deeper into the meaning and understanding. And how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the words. Once again, um, we see the meaning here. And we're going to choose one of the vocabulary words, just one, to interact with during this activity. Now, if you want to do all of them, you're welcome to it. But you are only, I'm only asking you to do one of the words. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to um, choose the same word I chose last, yesterday, um, virtuoso. And what I'm asking you guys to do is to create a Facebook profile for the word. I know Mrs. McCoy is old and people don't do Facebook no more, but for the sake of this activity, we are about to have a Facebook page. Virtuoso is about to have a Facebook page. So the first thing first, we're going to insert an image, similar, very same way we did when we did the About Me slide. Search the web, put the word in virtuoso, because the first thing we need is our cover page. Um, that is one of the you know things that stands out uh, on your Facebook profile. And so we're gonna take one of the backgrounds, um, these pictures here that really help us to understand what Virtuoso is, and we're gonna use it for our cover page. So I kinda like that. I like a lot of these, but we're going to choose a cello. We're going to insert it because we know that it is a person who, um, it is a person, someone who was highly skilled in music. So we're going to say this is the instrument that our individual plays. So just scratch it out, put a little thing, put, you know, use the little transformers to just get it, get it in there, get it in there. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's going to be our cover art, our cover photo. All right. It's already looking like a Facebook page, guys. The next thing we want to do is insert another image. Why? I don't know. Because we need a profile picture. Search the web again. And we know we can use Virtuoso or because we know what a Virtuoso is, we can put guy playing cello. So we're going to choose who's going to be our virtue. Oh, I want to put lady playing cello because one time for the women right now. <laughs> but, oh, I like this one. This is a cute picture. I'm going to insert it. And this is going to be my profile picture. Okay. I didn't realize it was transparent. But that's even better for me. What you can do is you can add a shape. And if you know anything about Facebook, I know I'm old. It's a circle now, not the square. So what I would do is make a circle. I'll make sure it's white. And make it small enough that it doesn't go over my words. I should have, I would have done that first had I thought about it. I'm going to hit arrange, order, send backwards. And what it does is it make it that my, this picture can fit right into there. See that? All right. So this is my profile picture. It's not all that great, but it's what we're going to work with. That's my cover photo. 
This is my back. This is my um, profile picture. And then the meat and potatoes of this is going to be your about section, your friends, and your post. Okay. Um, in the about section, usually it says where you live, right? So we're going to put in virtuoso. You can put definition. Okay, bring this step back down here. We're going to click on more defini definitions in word origin, right? And we know that it originated, um, it's a Italian word. So it is, its origin is Latin. We're going to come back to our Facebook post and we're going to put lives in Italy, right? Because that is the origin of the word. The next thing we see when we see a Facebook post, it's usually like married to, or it'll say single. Now you can choose to put um, single, but you have to put single and then put the reason why. Because one of the words like fanaticism, I would think that that individual is um, single, but you have to give me a reason why. So for this one, married to, and then we're gonna look for similar here. Genius, expert, master. I'm gonna say artist. I'm married to artists. The idea is to put a synonym in the married to. Now, the next thing I want to put is a bonus. Usually you put the school that you went to. So I'm put went to, and then I'm going to think of a school that a person who's a virtuoso would go to. And I'm going to put the performing art school. And if you guys remember from um, uh, our story last uh, week, Esmeralda tried out for the performing arts school. So it's a perfect opportunity to show what I knew and put went to performing arts in New York City, right? And so you, if you could, if for any of the other words, you could, if there is something that, uh, stands out to you that you can remember. You can definitely use that. But if you that one is not necessary, it's not required. It's just a bonus. Now, the next thing I want to do is my friends list. Okay. So what you're going to do is choose another synonym. So I know it's genius, expert, master, maestro, prodigy. So I want to use prodigy. I'm going to click on prodigy. I'm going to click on images of Prodigy. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. And I like Albert Einstein. So I'm going to click on it, right click on it, and then copy the image, bring it over here, and then paste the image. Now it's going to be tiny, but the idea is to just get it on there, right? So put it right over there and then next to it, the text box will already be there for you guys, but I'm going to create one. I'm going to put Prodigy. Make it a little smaller so all the words can, all the letters can fit in, but big enough so I can see. And then that's going to be my synonym. The next thing I'm going to do is find the antonym for virtuoso, right? So you can do that one of two ways. You can come back here and you can do that, or you could do like I'm going to do and put virtuoso antonym. So the opposite. Antonym is the opposite. 
The opposite of a virtuoso is a beginner or amateur. So we're going to click on, I want to use beginner. I'm going to click on beginner. I'm going to look at the images and see if there's anything that I like here. And let's put in beginner cello player. How about that? Because we already know that a virtuoso is one who, who knows what they're doing. So a beginner is someone who needs help, right? So I think this is a really good one because you can see that they are learning here. So again, I'm gonna copy this image, go back to my slide, paste it, you know, get it big enough that it can fit right into the little friend section. And then put in beginner. Okay, it's too big still. There it is. All right. And that is what we're doing for the friends list. Now, the last thing and the final thing is you are going to take and use, you can either use the word in a sentence or you can create a sentence that shows that you understand the meaning of the word, okay? So for the, my post, I'm going to put Works no spent all day at the amphitheater. This show will be the best one yet. And you're like, okay, what is with that? What is what are you talking about? Um a virtuoso, we know it's a person who can uh, play music for the most part. We know that they're a genius, they're a prodigy. And so the virtuoso would probably spend all day practicing, getting ready for a show. The amphitheater is a type of uh, stage um, that you could perform on. And so this is what I came up with for the virtuoso word, showing that I understand what that word mean okay and so the fun thing about it is we're not going to write the name of the word here we're going to guess i'm going to guess based on your pro facebook profile what is the name of the word i hope that you guys have fun with it uh get creative and i can't wait to see what you guys come up with